So, quick video on some uh, antenna adapters for the uh, DVB SDR dongles. Uh, what I did, and hopefully this saves someone else some grief at some point, what I did was uh, I took stock of, uh, I did this before the dongles arrived actually, I took stock of what connectors the dongles were going to arrive. This one has the E4000 chipset in it. It also has a PAL style connector. So I knew I'd need some way of hooking up to that. And moving here, this one, the uh, 820T, has the MCX style connector. Uh, I knew I was going to buy the Hammett Up Up Converter at some point. So, and it has the SMA style. So what I did is just chicken scratched a basic list. So I knew I'd need from the USB up converter, I'd need a pigtail to, from the SMA mail to the MCX. That way I could hook up the Hammett Up unit. Uh, from the up converter, I knew I'd need an SMA mail to SO239 female, which is uh, the connector I have on my dipole in most uh, a lot of people use for various field antennas of just about every form. So I knew I'd need that. And for the TerraTech unit, I knew I'd need a PAL male to an SMA male, so then I could also hook it up to the NOLEC unit, the uh, Hammett Up Up converter. And then I knew I'd also need an SMA female to PL259 female, which uh, allows me uh, to use. Uh, the dongles without the up converter and hook right to my dipole if I decided to take it out of circuit. And I knew I'd need an SMA male to BNC female. So if I wanted to use my rubber duck. That's the rubber duck from my unit and scanner. I don't know how much I'll use it, but we'll just see what it does. Uh, the SMA connectors on the Hammond Up I also have SMA adapter for my 2 meter, 70 centimeter dual band antenna. So I can use it as well. Uh, or I can use, this is a stock UV5R antenna. So I have lots of antenna options. Obviously these aren't perfect, but for a small package in a field bag, actually in your laptop work bag, you can stuff everything in. So uh, Christmas arrived today. I got the packages. What I did is I just ordered that whole list off eBay in one night from various suppliers. All these were under $10 a piece. So SMA to PL239. Actually, that's BNC, I think. Hold on, I gotta look away from the, the, the camera. This 239. Next, from the same supplier, I was able to get SMA. To PL239. And that's it for that package. And the next package, which I just threw them on the floor, these are really nice little adapters. They're the first hits that come up on eBay. Um, these ones came out of, where'd they come from? Hong Kong, I believe. And the first bag came out of Singapore. So there's my BNC. Two. Yes, me. Here's the PAL to the SMA. And the other one that I threw on the floor here somewhere is the SMA to the MCX. So between all these very small amount, these are these are short little pigtails, nothing nothing major. Between these and this adapter can basically adapt to any standard antenna, uh, also mostly antennas that I plan on making. So now I can simply hook either of the most common, these are the most common by the way, uh, DVB dongles up to any antenna I wish. So I'll put the uh, I'll put the list of the ones I got down in the show notes in case uh, in case someone decides to go with the exact same setups as me. Uh, I got the E4000 and the 820 chipsets for a reason because they do have different response curves and allows me to do both. Uh, currently right now um, it's pretty nice to use this for the ADS-B uh, aircraft location 
and then I have this on the same computer and listen to the aircraft voice and ATC on the same PC. So anyway, uh, pretty small little package, lots of options depending on what antennas you have. Obviously your, your mileage may vary, but uh, for me, this is all I need to hook up uh, all my equipment, including the up converter for the HF to uh, both my dongles. I really hope this helps someone. I was a little confused at first on what I'd require, but once I actually just took a few minutes and scribbled it out, I realized I can do everything I want with four pigtails and an adapter. So hopefully that helps someone. Thanks for watching. Last little uh, tidbit before I close this out. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, um, I decided to go with the, the short pigtails and short adapters instead of making my own and long coax because I found a way around not needing it. Uh, because I vary antennas, some of them uh, some of them are obviously don't have coax. What you can do instead of making yourself long appropriate coax for the frequency that you're receiving, you can simply extend the USB. You can move the software defined radio out to the antenna and run a longer USB. Now there's limits to that due to losses and you do need a high quality cable with ferrites or, if possible etc. Um, but you can extend this out. I tried it with a cheap USB extension. It did raise the noise floor quite a bit. Then I tried it with a really good quality one and I had no problem extending that out to like I think I tried about a 10 footer. Uh, so I was able to move it out and then adapt the antenna right close by to it with no issues because what's coming out of here is digital to the PC. So you're not your odds of noise introduction drop dramatically in my opinion. But again, it's just my opinion and what I found playing around. Um, for price and portability, it makes things so much easier. Like this is all a tiny little package, including the up converter. And when I do the, the project box, I may try and put uh, the USB and the up converter in the same project box and have the extension of the USB to that. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to play around with it and bench test it. I haven't even tried this yet, so I'm looking forward to it. The only problem I had is uh, I did notice the oscillator they send. The pins were all bent over on the foam they were stuck into, and they're way longer than what they need to be. So I just got to trim those back. But... Uh, uh, in case you run into that when you buy an up converter, it's a minor, minor thing. Don't try and ram it through the board because you will max out the the uh, the female receiver. The socket is only so deep, and these pins are maxed out right now. So easy fix. But anyway, that's all. Thanks.